Well, good morning, MFers. Welcome back to another video. If you guys saw last night, myself and Cole saw the camera guy caught like literally over 50 trout in this little pool right here beside us. We woke up early this morning, came back out here because what also lives in this lake is not the little baby dick stalker trout. There's giant bass and giant pike that eat those trout. And so we're down here in this area and it's really, really unique because we've got a creek coming in over there where they stock trout constantly. We've got a main lake that way, which is covered with ice, but the creek keeps this area right here open. So we're gonna be fishing mainly with live trout. Of course, I brought some big sticks here. We gotta catch the trout. So we got our little four foot six Walmart specials, but then I, uh, I called in the big sticks as well. Now on top of using the live trout for bait, which is something we've done a few videos in the past. You guys really wanted to see that. And I wanna do some more experiments. I also brought the old big swim bait box. So we're gonna fish some stuff, some artificials that looks just like these trout. And then we're gonna fish some live trout right next to them. Really excited to see what happens. First things first though, uh, we don't have a bucket or anything to keep any trout in, so we need to rig up one rig for those trout that we're gonna use for bait. I think we're gonna put them on a bobber, maybe one on the bobber, one on the bottom, maybe both on the bobber. We wanna catch a giant fish, and a giant fish this time of year is gonna be looking for an easy meal. And so we're gonna dangle it right there in their face, and hopefully one of them shows up to play today. It's gonna be fun. Here's the old bobber we're gonna be using. Foot long bobber, probably for a foot long trout. We used these a couple months ago for this little experimental and uh, it worked. It held the trout up. He was able to move around some, but still looked like an injured little guy like we want him to. All right, here's trout rig number one. Got the one foot bobber, little bead above it. Bobber stop, which we're gonna trim up here in a little bit. 65 pound braid. We got a weight right above there. That way the trout is less likely to just swim straight to the surface. And we got a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader and a big ass circle hook on the back of it, but we don't have any bait, so let's catch some bait. Well, here's the old trout catching contraption rig. Little baby spitter. This is our rod. We got these at Walmart yesterday. Four foot six rod. What was it, $18, Cole? <laughs> and we laid the wood. And you know what? Uh, the stalker trout are not that much fun. I, I don't love them by any means, but they're a blast to catch on a little tiny tackle like this. What's that? Yeah, Cole has spun the line on this one, and he's probably going to be fired after this video. He doesn't know that yet, though. We'll just cast out there, and last night it was instant feedback from the fish. We'll see if they're still biting today. I hope so. We need some damn bait. Ooh, that water's clean. Where was I standing last night? I had the perch. Don't know if that, oh, that was a fish. <laughs> Even ate it with the damn grass on it. Cole, I have a chub for what's about to happen when we put these trout out here as bait. Oh. <laughs> there you got it. it. Usually it's just like, if they get it once, they're gonna come back and get it. It's like, whap! There it is. We got bait, Cole. That's a juicy one. He's going to look good on a bobber. Sorry about your life, Mr. Trout. We want to have him lively, so let's get him over on the damn bobber rig. But uh, yeah, that's our guy right there. Definitely the uh, the culprit that these fish are eating, these big predatory fish. Now, I've been hooking them through the lips and all these challenges. I think that's probably, that's probably the move still. But if these pikes start coming in and we're really having a lot of luck, but we're not getting hooked up, I might run a stinger back to his dorsal or something with a treble. But for now, heave this guy out here. I don't even know if I can heave him on this rod. This is my frog and rod, my Melican frog and rod. There we go. Looks like he heaved pretty well, Coleslaw. All right, uh, now we wait for something giant to eat him. I'm probably gonna keep him moving around. In the meantime, we're gonna fish for another trout, but uh, yeah, he's doing some work out there on the old Bob, the old Robert. At least we don't have pole holders, Cole. There he is, Mr. Trout guy out there. Cole caught one last night that had giant teeth marks in it, so ever since then we basically had a rise in the prize that we were gonna catch one. Whatever's eating these fish. Looks like he's just gonna bobber around out there. Time for us to uh, catch another, I guess. We got a gigantor. This is a big one. Oh, he's shrinking. He's definitely shrinking. He's a baby. I was wrong. We could make some lunch while we catch these bait fish and wait, Cole. Look. Still appears to be a couple trouts out here, Cole. <laughs> We got a runner. Cole, I think this one's gonna go on the other rig we just tied up. This is Tommy the bottom trout. Or is it Timmy the, Timmy the bottom trout? He's pretty, he'll look good on a freaking circle hook. This one actually will be easier for you to cast, I think, Cole. All right, so here's the other rig we just tied up. It's got like a seven ounce weight on it. This one's got 30 pound mono, so my swim bait rod usually. Short little leader here, because we don't want this guy taking off too far away. We're just gonna nose hook him. I really wish I had some bigger circle hooks, but I think that'll stick big bass, big pike, whatever. This is gonna be the cold pole. Cold pole yesterday was the four six guy. Cole pull today is a 7.9 mf for swim bait rod. Let's see Cole struggle to cast this, so it's gonna be fun. 
Careful, Cole, it weighs a lot. I don't know where you're gonna wanna throw it, but just out there, I would say. Throw them in the water, will you? You're gonna have to thumb that son bitch too. He ain't tightened very much. Get him, Cole! Woo! I'd say that's pretty good. Bottom rig. We'll put him in the pole holder as well. This is the coal holder. Good work, Cole. So, how was it casting your very first two pound lure? It wasn't bad if you have an appropriate rod to throw it on. That's true. All right, now that we've got two real trouts out there, one on the bobber, one on the bottom, got the old best trout imitator that I own right here. This is the uh, eight inch Huddleston. Some modifications been made. We've got this bottom hook on it as well, which I'm probably gonna end up taking off because there's quite a bit of grass in this area. But for now, I'm gonna fish this guy kind of high in the water column, comb this little flat right here where this water's coming in from this creek. See if we can get uh, a, a really active fish to come up and eat us. Oh, look, Cole caught one. Wish we could put it in the sun so we could see it, but it's too windy. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. That's another lunch guy, Cole. Come here, lunch guy. No bites yet on the old bobber and bottom rig, but still fun to catch these guys. I've been throwing a swim bait around too. No dice, but I think next move is we're gonna go get the grill or what do you think? Grilled fish, Cole? Or are you thinking like cooked in a pan? Or what do you what do you got in mind? Grilled in foil, maybe half shell the trouts, maybe whole them. Whole it is, Cole says. Give us a little mid-morning snack while we wait for the gigantors to roll in. Any second now, Cole. Any second, maybe. Lunch. I'm the greatest fisherman alive. I've got him dialed. I want to look at him. I'm coming. Oh, yeah, that is a cool little guy. What is it, Brooke? That's... Might be a juvenile brown. It's like a female juvenile brown because it's got those red dots on the side. Just had to say something about it last night. We were talking about how we've never seen browns in here anymore. That might be a brook though, but I think it's brown. I figured out where the fish are. They're all out far. We got lunch guys galore. Coming in hot. Three lunch guys. Might be better. Probably not though. He thinks he is on the old four foot rod. Yeah, that's definitely a better one. Oh yeah, that's every bit of a half inch longer than the others. Really a big one. Still fun, Cole. Hey, we got some fish now. Cole caught a couple, I caught a couple. Now we got a lunch snack. God, his ass. <laughs> well yeah, Cole, I'm not trying to freaking reel in a long ways before I catch one. I want to catch one right away. The bite has come alive. Where's the Gigantor fish eater guy, dudes, thing? Well, no dice on the uh, the live trout or the swim bait. I was hoping to kind of make this into like a, a live trout versus artificial trout challenge, but this isn't exactly the conditions to be out here and trying to catch a lot of fish. We're kind of just going for a big one. It's freaking cold and nasty and early. So I cut the, the swim bait off and we're gonna try some other stuff. Um, this, I don't know if you guys saw it in the last video, but this is that slaunch sack that I put together, the pre-spawn slaunch sack for six cents um, that's up on the website now. But that guy has swim baits, which we won't be using, but very very good baits of course a hybrid jig which could be a good bait here but unfortunately it is uh it's very mucky grass in the bottom once again flat 75 comes in that guy and this is what i'm actually reaching for the provoke jerk bait i'm about to tie this guy on right here in a second but again c10 cloud 9 c10 we put this bag together for those of you guys fishing pre-spawn this might be another one i tie on here in a second the uh, the snatch rip it out some of this grass and of course the swank that i just got my pb on that little l-shaped guy basically this is just everything baits color specifically that I picked for six cents for a bag for you guys to go throw in the pre-spawn and catch fish in a variety of different ways. These are my favorite pre-spawn baits. So I'll link it down below. And of course, like I always tell you, you can use my promo code at checkout, MF10. And this is going to be the guy right now. A little see-through. What color is this? Shad Scents. I don't even know what the names of the colors half the time. They just look amazing. I'm gonna throw this around, see if we can suspend a fish, and then probably we might make a move. There's a spillway by here that has a lot of fish in it usually. Um, might have some big fish that have moved down. And we're also gonna cook some trout up for, for, for a little meal while we wait. That one walloped her. Oh, that was a big old bass, dude. By bass, I mean trout. By big, I mean it wasn't very big. But he liked the old provoke. This is my favorite way to catch trout that are bigger, so who knows, maybe a big old trout will come up out of this pool and eat this. But I want the damn trout eaters! All right, little change of scenery down here at the spilling way. And it looks pretty sexy.
I made it, Cole. Cole's not tall enough to make it across there. He'll drown, poor little Cole. All right, get Mr. Trout put out here on the bottom. I'm thinking cut trout down here because I don't know, it could be any type of species, catfish even. Probably some big pike though too. So we got whole dead trout right there. We could probably go down the creek a little ways here and try to catch a, uh, a new live trout. But we just switched spots to this good looking spillway right here and uh, fished here. I actually filmed some videos in the past, but way different now. Everything's flooded in this area. So it's way more water, way deeper. There was fishing here before, but I think we could have some big ones in here now. You can make it, Cole. Do what you do, coleslaw. You want me to get that from you? Too bad. Cole, I ain't carrying you anywhere. Not even if there's a fire. All right, here goes Cole. Creek's warm, it's 30 degrees, and he really wants to go swimming, apparently. It's not slick, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Cole, you're an animal. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, good job, I think. <laughs> oh, it wasn't on, we gotta do it again, sorry. We're gonna give him the old speed clean, Cole. We just got ourselves a little bit of a move, guy, over to this spillway. I'm probably gonna end up cutting this up. Maybe use this trout head for bait in here because we could have some big catfish or pike. Pike will still eat heads of these things, but for now, we got a couple to clean up. Cole and I are gonna eat some trout for lunch. If you're gonna film catching cooks on this channel, you better at least learn to clean fish first. <laughs> New Orleans fish fry stuff. Playing with boulders over there, look at him. Got himself a rock. Nice rock you got there, Cole. Dude, you didn't have to get me a chair. Or go, full trout guy going in, Cole. Oh guy going on, even though it's not hot oil, probably. That's okay. It. <laughs> oh yum. Trout guys are done, Cole. Yay. Hooray, trout guys. The coal bowl, a little bit greasy on the bottom there. Sorry about that. Good enough for who it's for. I have a mushroom on mine. All right, bon appetit, Cole, I guess. Bon appetit. Yep, cheers. cheers. Fish, fish cheers. So you eat the skin. You do. Oh, shit, that's good. Yeah, this will warm you up. This is good stuff. You had never even tried trout until, what, we went to Wyoming? Wyoming. That's crazy. Well, another freaking try and a, uh, a failure at catching something on a live trout. Now, this is the third time we've tried this experiment, and I'm just flat out, I'm not going to post another video where we don't catch a fish on one because we've done this enough. I thought today, though, you know, it was enough context of actually catching the trout, being in some really cool areas, fishing a cool spillway, uh, a cool little flat, a basin where, where a creek pours in, and at any moment, a giant fish could come up and eat those, uh, those trout. But no dice today, so I don't know. You guys let me know if you guys have ever caught anything on live trout. I know people use them for stripers and stuff. Today just didn't freaking happen once again. It's the third time we've tried. It's the second time in a row we've done it without a bite. And uh, it sucks. Like I said, probably not going to make another video unless we catch something on them. But I told you guys in the past, if I don't catch anything in a video, and we did catch a lot of trout, but we won't count those. Since we didn't catch anything, uh, the target species, we're going to do a giveaway, like I say in my videos, when I, when I don't do so good. And we might as well just give away that freaking, that slaunch sack I showed you guys earlier with all the uh, the baits from Six Cents Fishing of my favorite pre-spawn baits and colors. That way you guys can get, at least one of you guys can get stocked up on some good baits here to use. When you got some open water and the bite gets good here soon but um, all you gotta do for that one drop a thumbs up comment down below and go subscribe to Melican fishing like we usually do um, one week from today I'll use a random comment generator and I'll pick a comment down below make sure you're subscribed to Melican fishing and then I'll be sending one of UMFers a lovely little slaunch sack but um, yeah for me and for Colt the camera guy we'll catch you on the next adventure we gotta go back home and um, I don't know what it's gonna be next open water or ice fishing but we're gonna go grind around and get some content Always good to get out and uh, ate some delicious fish today. Didn't catch what we we're after. Still a good time. Thanks for watching, guys.